Back in 2018, I saw a review on the Linus Tech Tips channel about these optical mechanical switches. And it intrigued me enough that I figured I would pony up the dough and get one for myself from Amazon.com. Now, mind you, I'm in Canada, so I paid a very hefty premium to get this keyboard shipped up to me. And while most reviewers would spend maybe a week, two weeks, maximum three weeks, I have gone one step beyond. I have not been lazy, contrary to what popular belief would tell you about when this video is coming out. I have not been lackadaisical, contrary to all popular opinion. No, no, no. I have been doing in-depth research, in-depth trial testing, and I have given this two years of being my daily driver. And now I'm going to tell you why this is the best keyboard you will ever own. Because by God, after two years, I've put this thing through its paces. And even in this product shot, you would think that this would be the box just to highlight the product. No, 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 no. This is not the original box. This is a spare keyboard I bought in case anything was to ever happen to my B975. I wanted to make sure I was able to hot swap over. And to go one step further, this is not even the only one I'm buying. I'm gonna get three more of them for the computers you see around me right now. Because I like this keyboard so much, I don't know if I can ever go back to the standard normie mechanical switches. So let's take a look at the B975, the ups and downs after two years of being a daily driver and see exactly why this is the best keyboard you will ever own in spite of its flaws. Now I've already done the unboxing of this keyboard on this channel, but just to quickly gloss over what you get in it, you get the keyboard, of course, you get this wrist guard metal base, you get the wrist guard risers, and you get two of them. One is this really tacky red and the other is a gloss black. Neither one is great. And what's even worse is they are held in by the world's smallest screws I have ever seen. These things are trash. In fact, that was the very first flaw I had with this product was after about four months of ownership, the really tiny screws that hold the glossy black thing to the base started to just fall out. And it took a long time to get replacements, but luckily the customer service from Bloody was actually very, very stellar. I contacted them through their Discord and they sent me new screws right away, along with a few extra keycaps just to kind of make good over how long I had to wait. A very class act by them. And while the screws, the size and quality of them is a incredible flaw, their customer service did make up for it in the end. So we'll call it, we'll call it even on that point. I also realized that this keyboard attracts dust like absolute crazy. Things will fall into it as you would normally see. You get hair, dust particles, skin cells, uh, what my teacher like in university liked to call computer science spice. You, you will see a lot of it and you will have to clean this keyboard a lot. But it's worth it though because we're getting to the real benefits of this keyboard and that is the mechanical optical switches. These things are absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Now, the B975 and a few of their other keyboards come in variant types of switches. You have the brown, which is the more silent linear switch. And then you have the orange, which is the very tactile and very satisfying click. Oh my God, it's like a Cherry MX Blue. I have really liked having the tactile feeling on my keyboard. As you can see, the keyboard is full RGB. And this is another detriment to the keyboard is the fact that the RGB is pre-programmed profiles and it is nowhere near as robust as something like Corsair's IQ software, where you can have community built kind of, where you have community built patterns and light shows. This is very, very straightforward. It's your standard uh, shifting colors, breathing, all those kind of ones, nothing that's gonna blow your socks off. But, it's RGB, you have it, it's great, 
But what's nice though is you can turn it off and you do have that more professional look to you. So along with having a very limited set of patterns that you can cycle through, you also have a very dim color on your RGBs. It's not the greatest and I do wish they had picked either brighter LEDs or they had maybe made the keycaps show a little bit more of the light. There was a number of different ways they could have kind of split the difference, but I feel like they went the very cheap route and they just picked the cheapest keycaps with the smallest area on them. And for that, you kind of do sacrifice the actual RGB quality of the keyboard. And since this is designed for gamers and well, for gamers, it's not the best marketing move I would have picked personally. But hey, you know what? I'm sure it was a cost thing and you just kind of do what you have to to get the product to market. Now, in terms of being my daily driver, like I said, I've been using this keyboard for two years now, over two years now. And I can tell you, I love this keyboard. Prior to the B975, I was using a Corsair K70 and it was it was okay it was a you know cherry mx red uh, keyboard it had that beautiful rgb that i was uh, talking about earlier but i didn't get that satisfying tactile feel when i would type on the k70 being the whole red switch is not not that kind of a switch and i really wanted something with that more deep clicky feel i remember from keyboards back in the back in the early 90s and in very early 2000s so when I got the B975, I was absolutely thrilled with the type of feeling the keys gave you. Now, this is also a very double-edged sword because even after so long of using the keyboard, I do find myself on the uh, very common occurrence making very small typos. And that has to do with the actuation point on the switch. The switch is activated incredibly easily. I really feel like that a hard breeze could probably activate the switch if it blew over top of it. That might be what you want. I'm okay with it, but I do find myself really having to double check a lot of things I type out now. Not so much when I'm talking to my friends on Discord, but when I'm typing things like emails and Word documents, I do see a lot more flags coming up because I might brush over a key by accident and it might activate the switch and I'll get an accidental L or you know semicolon when I'm going through it. But I guess that would be more of a personal problem than a keyboard problem. As it is, the keyboard is doing exactly what it was designed for. And I, I can't fault it for that, but I do love this keyboard. I genuinely love this keyboard. And if you think that this review was, you know, paid off or in any way, keep in mind, I had the keyboard for two years. No company who's going to pay you for something is going to let you wait two years to put a video out on it, okay? I paid for this out of my own money. And actually, that's another thing I want to talk about is the cost. Now, this keyboard in this company has the weirdest pricing scheme I have ever seen. First, they don't sell in Canada almost at all. There's or they sell like the very low end models. They do not sell the B975 here in Canada. You go to Amazon, it's not there. Go to some of the local shops, you won't see it there. It's an it's a crying shame that they don't sell it here. But I did ship this one up from the US. In fact, I shipped both of these up from the US. And the first time I bought the keyboard, I paid over $200 for this keyboard in Canadian rupees. It was a very bitter pill to swallow, but I really wanted to try it and it was worth it. And then last year when I wanted to buy a spare, I got this one on a very good discount from Amazon. And that's one thing I noticed the company was doing more and more was actually issuing like coupons for very steep discounts on this keyboard. You can sometimes get all the way up to $75 off, which is basically half price. And when I saw that, it really made it easy to recommend this keyboard to everyone. Outside of just myself, I have sold four others of these keyboards to my friends when they were searching for something like this. They wanted a very tactile kind of keyboard and Cherry MX Blue was just not available. So I recommended this and they have bought it. They have been incredibly happy with it. I'm more than over the moon with this keyboard. And like I said, if you can get it for 50% off, you are just winning in every way possible. This thing is fantastic. If you are one of those kind of twitchy streamers, not Twitch TV, but like twitchy reaction streamers, 
this keyboard is great for you, especially if you're doing something that's hotkey based. This might be the keyboard for you when you don't have to put a lot of pressure onto the keys. You can just move with more fluidity than you can if you really have to be that focused in on how hard are you pressing your keyboard. I like the build quality. I like the RGBs, but I wish they were brighter. The pricing scheme, if you can get it for half price, it's an easy, no, no question recommend by far. If you're paying full price, I would say wait for them to issue a coupon of any kind, anything above the $25 range. I feel like the $25 coupon is not as good as if they went, you know, with the higher ones that you can probably get if you just wait it out. They seem to issue them pretty often. So I would say wait it out. But overall, even when I paid full price for this keyboard, I was absolutely over the moon with it. And as anyone who has watched this channel or has watched any of my streams knows, I am a big fan of owning spares of every you can probably see right behind me there is spare audio equipment i have spares of my logitech g900 mouse i have spares of my cooler master gear i have spares of everything that i love because i want to make sure that the things i love if they die i can replace them immediately because it's just one of those creatures of habit things and in fact i like this keyboard so much that i'm not just stopping at the one spare no i have five other computers in my house and I want each of them to have a B975 attached to it. So I'm closely monitoring their coupon sales and I'm buying them as often as I can because this keyboard is just the best keyboard you will ever buy. And there you have it guys. After two years of ownership, daily driver workhorse work, do using it upwards of 12 hours a day, this is the full review of the bloody B975 keyboard. I hope you guys found it interesting and insightful. I cannot stress enough how great this keyboard is. If you guys like this video, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, if you have suggestions for videos, leave them in the comment box down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are only nine subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. So let's get to that goal. And if you guys have any other kind of questions about this keyboard, feel free to email me or hit me on Twitter at LittleRx2015, and I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you have about it. But overall, guys, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see all of you on the next video. Bye.